Hi everyone, Flaming Footy here and welcome or welcome back to a new YouTube video on the channel and today guys we are going to be continuing our AFL 2023 fixed reactions and in today's video of course going in alphabetical order I am going to be doing Essendon's fixed reactions so let's go ahead and hop right into things. Alright so as per usual works the same as any other one does. Uh, alphabetical order, obviously. So we've already done Adelaide, Brisbane, and uh, Carlton, and Collingwood. And then teams like Sydney, West Coast, and the Western Bulldogs will be towards the back end of the series. But here we are for the number five, number fifth one here, which is going to be Essendon. And just going to be having a detailed look at their fixture and just going over it and just having a look, uh, just a really detailed look at their fixture. So let's go ahead, not waste any time, hop into things with round number one. And they're going to be playing Hawthorne, which this matchup was actually recommended by, I'm not sure which team it was. I think it was Hawthorne wanted to play Essendon in an anniversary game, I think. Or was it vice versa? I'm not quite sure. But one of these teams requested to play the other in a anniversary. Or just like a like a yeah, I can't quite remember what the exact reason was, but these two teams did want to play each other in round one. And well, the AFL does answer this wish and gives them a Channel 7 game in now in round number one. Hawthorne versus Essendon MCG. That could draw a big crowd, I reckon. That could draw a big crowd. Potentially one of the biggest crowds of round one, potentially, I reckon. That could be one of the biggest crowds of round one. You've got the opener. You've got Geelong Collingwood, which, which I reckon will outscore this one. But I reckon that will probably sit quite comfortably in third for, um, yeah, perhaps the highest crowd. But that's going to be a cracking contest as well. Two not-so-great sides are, are battling it out. I reckon that could be a really good game. So round number two, another Channel 7 game here for Essendon. They've started off their season pretty well, two Channel 7 games. Two 320 games as well, Essendon versus Gold Coast at Marvel Stadium. Obviously, we, we all remember this game from 2022 where Sam Braber kicked the goal of the year. And here we go, these two teams are meeting up again, although this time in the Channel 7 time slot in round number two. So round number three is going to be St Kilda versus Essendon in St Kilda's... Um, anniversary game here on a Saturday night. So would you believe this? Three out of three Channel 7 games here for Essendon to start off their season. This is looking good for them. They're actually going to be getting tons of Channel 7. Well, not tons, but actually quite a fair few Channel 7 games throughout these first 15 rounds of 2023. And you'd expect they may get another couple as well towards the back end. But this this could be another great game as well. At the MCG, rare to see the Saints playing at the MCG. But obviously, they do want to draw a very big crowd of this one. And probably will. So round number four, they um, aren't in the Channel 7 time slot anymore. It is going to be Essendon versus GWS. 2-10 on, the, um, on the Sunday. The first game on the Sunday. Um, and that's going to be an, I reckon this is going to be a great game. Now, I'm not sure what you guys think, but I actually think that Essendon and GWS do have a pretty, not like a massive, but a pretty decent rivalry here with some really close games in the past. So I feel like this is going to be another cracking contest between these two sides at Marvel. Round number five, obviously magic round. We know so much about that. Essendon will be traveling to Adelaide. Uh, to play Melbourne at the Adelaide Oval in that Saturday twilight time slot as part of a double header at the Adelaide Oval. Now, round six is where things get spicy. They return back to Channel 7 time slot games and they play Collingwood in the Anzac Day Clash and that's what I meant by spicy. That's going to be a cracking game, I reckon. Um, Anzac Day games are always closer than than what they may seem. But yeah, Anzac Day this year was a great game. And I reckon, yeah, 2023 should be another absolute cracker. And even if it's not, the atmosphere in the crowd at draws still does make it a good game either way. Now, in round number seven, they'll be playing Geelong in the country game. So these two sides met in round one. They have like this country game they play. That will be Sunday, April the 30th at 1.10 Victorian time, the MCG in round number seven. I wouldn't expect a great contest out of that because it's Essendon and Geelong, but who knows? We could see something really remarkable and upset of the season. So round number eight would would be Essendon travelling back to the Adelaide Oval this time to play Port Adelaide at the Adelaide Oval again in that Sunday 1.10 time, so 12.40 local time to play Port Adelaide. Again, this is going to be a really tough task. Um, three really tough tasks in three weeks. It's going to be very, very, very hard here for Essendon to, um, to, to win all three of those games, but just getting a result in one of those three games could be a really big bonus for their season. But yeah, 
Three very tough games. And then you back it up with the fourth here in round number nine. Brisbane versus Essendon at the Gabba. Channel 7 time slot, 6.55 or 7.25. So, um, yeah, this is probably not going to be a great game either. So the Gabba, Brisbane, we know so good up there with their difference throughout the season as well. This is going to be a cracking game. Now, if you want to put it this way, which I'm not sure if you will put it this way, but Josh Dunkley wanted to go to Essendon and now he's at Brisbane. So Essendon are going to be annoyed they couldn't manufacture a trade for Dunkley. So this could be, this Dunkley could be getting at his perhaps, like not new teammates, but he could be getting at perhaps what could have been his teammates in this game. Because, yeah, Josh Dunkley had a failed trade to go to the Bombers. And, yeah, the Bombers aren't happy to see him now go to Brisbane. So, yeah, they'll probably let loose in this one. So, round number 10, they return to... Well, they, they don't return to. They stay in Channel 7 Saturday night time slot this time. For Essendon versus Richmond, the traditional um, Sir Doug Nichols round dream time at the G game. This will be... Probably not a cracking game, but again, though, just the crowds can make it a pretty decent experience and atmosphere in itself. So, again, this is going to be another um, big crowded game. And maybe, again, maybe we might get a good contest. It's so around 11, and I feel like this one should not um, be a too bad of a game. I reckon this one could potentially be well, one of the games that's around this time in round 11. Essendon continuing their trend on Saturday night contest here. Travel to Perth to play a Saturday night game versus West Coast. Now, I reckon this is going to be a good game. These two teams did play later on a Friday night later on in the season um, in Perth, which did end up being a big upset for, I think it was West Coast that ended up winning that game as well. So I feel like these two sides are going to have another great game here. And uh, yeah, this this could be a really cracking game. Just about where the two teams are placed at, I feel like that'll be a cracking contest. So round number 12, Essendon go to Marble Stadium this time to play North Melbourne in the last game on a Sunday. I don't think this game's going to be extremely amazing or anything. I don't think there's going to be anything too special there. But these two sides do have some pretty good uh, quality top-end draft picks from the 2022 uh, AFL draft. And this is going to be a perfect place to really show what they got uh, in terms of top-end talent in this particular game. So round 13, this is a bit of a trial run here by the AFL, which I hope they do perhaps keep on going with this um, with this trial, except maybe make it a little bit different. A big rivalry to, to um, just be- a day before, the night before the traditional Queen's birthday big freeze clash. And this time it's going to be Carlton and Essendon playing 7-15, round 13, MCG Sunday night ahead of the Queen's birthday big freeze game. I like this. I like the thinking here by the AFL. We don't normally have a lot of Sunday night games. And to put a Sunday night game on a rare occasion here, I don't mind this at all by the AFL. I think this is not a bad choice. Feel free to let me know what you think about this in the comments section. But I, I don't mind it. I think this is going to be a bit of a um, a curtain raiser to this um, traditional big freeze Queen's birthday game. So round 14 is their buy. The buys this year has changed from round like you have. It used to be 12, 13, 14. This year it's 12, 13, 14, 15. And in one buy round, there's only two teams having buys. And in some, there's about seven, uh, six or eight. So uh, I'm interested to see how this buy round really does end up playing out. But every team still does get a buy, obviously. And then in round 15, they travel back to Perth again. They were there not too long ago. This time to play Fremantle. Uh, I'd assume Channel 7 game Saturday night. So here we go. That is the full, that, that is their full fixture with dates and times. We go on to the rest of the fixture, which is unknown. Um, they play Port Adelaide at the MCG before playing the Crows at Marvel Stadium. So they've got both the South Australian teams, round 16 and 17. Won the MCG, won at Marvel. Then they play the Cats at GMHBA Stadium. That is going to be a tough challenge before playing the Dogs at Marvel. And then the Swans at Marvel. And then the Eagles at Marvel. Hang on, hang on. So they're going to be playing Port Adelaide, then Adelaide at home. So both those two sides at home. It's long away. Doggies at home, Swans at home, Eagles at home. Before then, they finish the season North away, Giants away, Collingwood home. So that's interesting. Let's just go back then, have uh, real quick. Let's just have a look. Where do they play a ton of games away from home, which is classified as not a home game? So. They don't, they, so here we go. Let's see if they can get on a bit of a run here of away games here. Here. Two there, and then, I don't, and then two there. Okay, interesting. Uh, that's interesting. That's, that's interesting there. Because, yeah, they've got three home games in a row. Although, I don't think, they're not against easy opponents, though. So, that does make things more, a little bit more interesting. But, 
yeah, let's, let's just go back and have a little look at this end in a bit more detail than what we have done. So, they played Port Adelaide, then the Crows, which we've gone over. The Cats, which are going to be a tough challenge. Then they played Dogs, Swans, two very tough teams. Probably a good game here versus West as well. And then they play North the week after. They play the Giants in what seems to be a brewing rivalry at Giants Stadium. And I reckon that could be a great game before then they finish off the season playing in a rivalry here at the MCG against Collingwood. So that is their fixture here for Essendon. Now, definitely a few interesting parts. It's going to be tough for Essendon next year. I think a lot of people see them as a bottom four. We're not bottom four, definitely bottom six side uh, in 2023. I'd probably see them being around that around that same kind of 15th mark. I don't think they'll really fall much further than what they did in 2022, but I can't really see them rising. I'd only see them rising one or two spots if they were to at all. Anyway, but that's going to wrap us up for their fixture. There's definitely lots of interesting games in there and definitely lots of primetime games for Essendon as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they go in um, those primetime games as well. It'll just be interesting to see how they go in season 2023. But anyway, that's going to wrap us up for today's video. Thank you guys. It was so much watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next video on the channel. Thank you guys. It was so much watching. Bye everyone. Blame me for the out.